The year is 1983 and it's the 11th season of the Federation Internationale, the Automobile, or as most of us call it, the FIA World Rally Championship. The season consisted of 12 rallies, with races all over the globe, and tracks consisting of gravel, tarmac, snow and even ice. Now at this time we saw one of the big rivalries in rally history unfold. Two unlikely adversaries faced off. Volkswagen backed Audi with cutting edge technology versus a small but experienced Lancia on a tight budget still riding on the Stratos's previous success. Now Audi had just managed to get their four wheel drive Quattro into the rally by dispatching a man that had successfully convinced the sport governing body of the FIA to remove a rule that blocked four wheel drive cars from participating in the rallies. Now this gave Audi a huge advantage by giving them grip and traction on any surface and this car took them to victory in the previous 1982 rally championship. So when the 1983 season came around everybody who participated in the WRC knew that if they wanted to keep up with Audi and their Quattro they needed to develop their cars with a similar four wheel drive system. Now most teams ended up spending most of their budget on the development of these systems but ultimately their systems fell short to that of Audi's engineering department. Audi was organized professional and had the best engineers in the business. Lancia however didn't have the resources to go and develop a four wheel drive system. They also had a team boss that was known as a playboy and a rally driver who, who cared more for the things he wanted to do than winning rally titles. So from the get go there wasn't much hope for the team from Italy. Now Lancia knew they would have to build something drastic to stand a chance against the Germans. So they spent most of their budget on a new powertrain which they installed in a lightweight mid-engined rear-wheel drive rally car called the O37. Now this new engine was a 2.1 litre inline 4 that produced 305 horsepower at 8000 rpm. So we had Audi with all the resources of VW behind them and a team of motivated drivers all under Roland Gumpert, an expert hands-on mechanic as their boss. And Lancia with none of that. But you see Lancia did have one advantage. They were really smart and they knew how to bend the rules. So onto the first round of the FIA World Championship. Monte Carlo. Now Monte Carlo is a difficult track with less than ideal snowy conditions. Now these conditions were fine for the all-wheel drive system found in the Audi. But Lancia had a rear engine rear wheel drive car with 300 horsepower. So while others were busy setting up their cars for the slippery conditions, Lancia was busy literally changing the conditions of the track. The Lancia team manager ordered 300 tons of salt from Italy and had it spread all over the stages melting the snow and enabling the use of slicks. Now the other teams were completely unaware of the changes and they all competed on snow tires only to find that 90% of the stages were on tarmac. This rather big change gave Lancia an 11 minute advantage by the end of the event giving them first and second place. Now this tactic by Lancia created headlines and was completely outside of the box highlighting the creative approach that Lancia took to its rally campaign. Then came the second round and this race was set in Sweden which again is covered in snow and ice. But this time around Lancia didn't even show up. Realizing that there wasn't enough salt in the world to melt that much snow they just stayed at home. Now since Audi's all drive system was superior to all the drive systems of the other competition Audi finished first second and third in Sweden. Audi also managed to get podiums in the next two stages in Portugal and East Africa getting a 1-2 in Portugal and a 2-3 in East Africa. Then the championship went to France. Now these stages were mostly set on tarmac which was great for the rear engine rear wheel drive Lancia and because of this Lancia managed to finish first second third and fourth and Audi failed to even complete retiring its quattros due to mechanical failures. At Acropolis a stage known for testing even the toughest of cars the lightweight Lancia emerged victorious over the durable German which couldn't even finish. Now as the next two rounds came competition was fierce with both teams scoring well at New Zealand and Argentina. But Audi got more podiums in these two races. Then came Finland and Lancia's main driver was a no-show famously saying if I liked to fly I would have been a pilot referring to the numerous jumps on the Finnish tracks. Imagine being a racing driver and just refusing to race on a track. 
I don't think that would have been tolerated if this was to happen in the German camp. Now Audi took an easy win over there. There were three more rounds left in the championship, so it was technically still possible for Lancia to win. The first of which was set in Italy. Now Lancia wanted to give the all on the home turf. The first of the stages was set in San Remo. But there was a problem. The stage was so dusty that it obstructed the vision and made it difficult for the drivers to perform well. Lancia, being Lancia, faked technical issues at the start of each race, giving them a bit more time between runs in an effort to make the track a little less dusty. At the end of the Italian rally stages, Lancia was able to secure the top three spots. Now this amazing performance in Italy led Lancia to ultimately taking the podium home and securing the first place overall in the championship. Now I have to mention that they won by a hair, with 118 points over Audi's 116 points. In the history of rallying, no other two-wheel drive car has ever beaten a four-wheel drive car. Lancia holds the record as its 037 remains the only car to ever do so. This is an awesome piece of racing history. It's an underdog story and everybody loves a good underdog story. But let me know down below what you think of the video. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you did like it, you like my other stuff, so just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.